Blake, what are your first impressions of uh, Hong Kong racing? Well, it's it's pretty spectacular. You know, this is um, you know this is a pinnacle pinnacle place I think in, in the world, and um, you know we come here tonight, Happy Valley. It's probably one of the most picturesque picturesque places for for a spectator, for a jockey to jockey to ride, and it's a very unique unique place, and um, it's got that it's got that wow factor about it, and. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty taken by the place, that's for sure. So what do you think is the big difference between... Uh, you've ridden here once or a couple of times. What, what's the difference between riding in Hong Kong and riding in, uh, in Oz? Well, look, I haven't had a great, obviously, deal of experience here. I only rode here once before. But, um, you know, Sydney's, Sydney's very tough. You know, I'd say that Sydney's the toughest competition you know, in Australia, probably right up there in the world. We've got some world-class jockeys in Sydney with the likes of Hugh Bowman and James McDonald, Tommy Berry and Kieran McAvoy. Hong Kong, Hong Kong is probably got the international caliber of riders from around the world, which it attracts, and um, that's what makes Hong Kong so good and why people want to come here and test themselves at the, the world stage. and. Um, you know, that's probably why I, I want to come here eventually and test 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 myself at, at this this level. So you do see yourself having a place here. Um, <laughs> if I ever get it, if I ever get that opportunity opportunity to come here, but um, which I've been allowed obviously to come here and ride here once before. But uh, you know, like I said, it, it is a it is a pinnacle of of, of riding. I feel and. Um, you know they strive for excellence on every level, and um, yeah, I, I'm I'm very much taken by the place, and I've watched Hong Kong racing since I was a young kid, and really followed it, and uh, because of that reason, because of the caliber of, of jockeys, and tried to model myself on a lot of the riders that I've ridden here. So, out of the riders here right now, who who would be your top five? Don't want to put you on the spot, but um, look, Joe Marira. Is obviously, you know, one of the best you know, in the world. One of the best we've ever seen. He's come and competed in Sid Sydney and Melbourne, and uh, yeah, he's just unbelievable to watch. You've got Zach Perth and Doug Douglas White, Brett Preble. Um, you've got a Harris Teeden. You've got a long list of top class jockeys. Neil Callan. Who I, who I watch and respect highly, and I'm sure I could learn a lot from. You, you, you haven't mentioned Zach. I did mention oh, Zach. Oh, you did? I did. Okay. What is it in, in Australia? Because I know it's a, a, a racing nation, and you know, I've just come back from there. But why is it that so many people in Australia seem to bag jockeys, which they don't in Hong Kong? They don't? Not in Hong Kong. I don't think so. I'm, a, I'm not sure. Um, it's just been it's just been the way way for a long time. If you, if you get beat on one, it's generally the, generally the jockey's fault, jockey's fault. As far as the, uh, the tracks are concerned, have you noticed any difference in the tracks I have, or the yes. track conditions? I think the, the course proper at um, Sha Tin's one of the one of the best surfaces, grass tracks of I've ever I've ever ridden on. Um, the drainage is unbelievable. You know, Sydney, Sydney uh, Ram, Royal Ramwick's a very good track, but obviously it doesn't doesn't drain, you know, the way the way Chartin Tin does. And uh, Happy Valley, well, obviously the surface is very good. It's a, quite a tight track, and it's a very unique, but um, it's a very good track as well. And 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 do the whip rules in Australia? Does that affect you, or do you think it affects all jobs? It's affected my hip pocket, I know that. <laughs> but uh, look, it has affected a lot of jockeys. But um, you know, they're only trying to do that for the betterment of racing to bring the whip rules in, and we've all got to try and abide, abide by them. I do, I do feel we do need whip rules, but I think the ones we've got in place needs, you know, some some change, which I think is happening at the moment. Um, there aren't any really real restrictions in Hong Kong, but um, you know, Sydney Sydney's going going forward, and or Australian racing's going forward, um, probably slightly slightly behind Hong Kong, but you know they're catching. 
So if you had to send a message to the stewards or the CEO of the club, why you should come here, what would you say? I'd say I think I've earned my chance to be here. I've worked very hard in the past four years. Um, you know, obviously I've had my you know ups and downs, but you know the past four years has been pretty pretty incredible journey. I've um, you know I've won about eight Group Ones. I got Australia's leading rider last last year and won the Gold Slipper Magic Millions, and you know that's a testament to my hard work. And I think you know putting that stuff behind me, and now I'm on that road to you know being hopefully one of the best jockeys in the world, and given the chance to ride here, hopefully I can prove that. Near me. Would you be riding here with your ass hanging out like you did in the thing that went viral on Twitter? <laughs> well, that was an experience that I, I don't want to do again. But um, yeah, that was, like I said, that, that was something that, uh, pe that was a side of me that people don't want to see, I promise you. Was it cold? <laughs> it was very cold, especially no underwear on. Cheers, nice mate. Nice to talk to you. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you.